Hi friends, I look a little crazy, but I just wanted to show y'all what I do about once a week to keep up my psoriasis. That looks really gross and weird probably, and uh, to keep my skin clear and things like that. So I don't know if you could tell, but my eyes look a little glossy and so do my eyelashes. And um, they're actually really long naturally, I'm lucky, but without mascara you can't really tell because they're pretty like dark blonde. But what I do, and I just started doing this about two weeks ago when I've noticed a huge difference, is I take castor oil and I make sure that it's the organic kind and the cold press kind. That does make a difference in terms of quality. And I take a brush, like a little eyeshadow brush, and I, like a loose, like a, um, I don't know what the term would be, but like, it's the brush that has like, it's like a wispy brush. It's not like a tightly spongy brush and you just brush on you dip it in the castor oil and you brush it on your lashes and I do it top and bottom and I leave it on for like 20 minutes and I wash it off I do notice that it keeps them very soft and it may just be in my head but I feel like it makes them longer and uh, that's just something that I read online a long time ago as far as what's on my face this is not for psoriasis but it does help keep it clean but it, this is more for keeping my skin clear because even though I'm 29, I still get pimples sometimes. Luckily, they're not like noticeable, but I notice them. So this face mask, I got it from a local natural grocery store. Like think of like a co-op type place or Whole Foods, that type of thing. And I've been getting this for years. Lately, the charcoal masks have become like a trend because not many people knew about it. But because of my psoriasis, years ago, I was Googling how to extract all these toxins from my skin and stuff before detoxing became like some big thing. And so I've long been doing these facial masks. This one is a, it's activated charcoal with volcanic ash. <laughs> that sounds very abrasive, but I do find that compared to your mainstream masks, uh, this just for me really is, I love it. And I'll leave it on for like 10 to 20 minutes. Um, by the way, I also put the castor oil in my eyebrows. I have very naturally, I don't have to tweeze them. I mean, I could, I actually probably should tweeze them, but I prefer them to be thick. I like my natural brows. Um, okay, and uh, this is where my big problem area is with my psoriasis. And so this is the 3% salicylic, am I saying that right? Acid that Dermarest makes. And I just squirt it out on there in a very thick blob because it soaks up the gel very, very quickly. And I leave it on for a maximum of like two hours. It may sound like a really long time. That's why usually I just sleep in it. But I notice that it keeps my skin clear for about a week after I do that. I like that better than using like hydrocortisone or some sort of steroid or something that's actually not really good for your skin because it thins it out and yeah. Um, let's see. And normally when I do this once a week like treatment, I also will put white strips on my teeth, but I've been out for a couple months now. So I actually on eBay ordered this like really high percentage uh, dental grade, dentist grade whitening stuff that you're like use at your own risk because it's so strong. And it, after two minutes, I could not take it on my teeth anymore. So I have not attempted to do that again. So I, uh, yeah, I just have been, I mean, luckily my teeth are white, but I still prefer to touch up because I, I drink a lot of coffee and tea and yeah. Although I do use a straw. But yeah, I just wanted to, oh, and on my hair, I have the purple shampoo that my roots have come in terribly, if you cannot tell. I mean, that's a lot of growth. Yeah, really bad. But, um, oh, and if you see this room, it is a mess. Obviously, I need to clean it. But yeah, um, I have purple shampoo on my blonde hair because it keeps it very, as you probably already know, very, like, non-yellow, which I love buttery blonde hair gold tones. It's just on me because my skin is naturally gold. It's just too much yellow, you know. But yeah, so I just wanted to show y'all what I do. Not always because I'm like, I can't follow routine for the life of me. I can keep something up for like three days and then and then that goes kerplat, kersplat, kerplat. But yeah, so um, okay, well have a good day you guys.